Me. You want to join? You want to join us for a minute? Go ahead. Yeah. All right, Sal Batero is gonna come and sweat this match with me, I guess. Uh, this is Jose Perica playing ten ball against Ernesto Dominguez. This is a race to seven. And you're watching the Butera's 10 ball workout, which is hopefully gonna be a monthly deal here. More details on that as they develop. And Jose is breaking. like a dry break. <clears throat> um, Mike Lim is, or Lynn actually, is now playing Oscar Dominguez on table three. Looks like uh, Dave Blevins is playing Danny Petralba right now on table two and I think Brian Parks is playing Fach Garcia on table one. All right, Ernesto, uh, Looks like he just needs to float down past the six to make the five in the opposite or in the lower left corner. Looks like a pretty fast table. I don't think he wanted to roll down that much. Shot on the six ball, should be okay. Ooh. Oh, that wiped its feet on the way in, but Ernesto stays at the table. This wasn't the easiest looking rack, but uh, Ernesto made it look easy. Okay, here we go. Sal, Sal's coming to the to the table here. Nope, put this one on first. There you go. That's the that's the actual mic, and this you. Should be able to get a reading into the earphones, but you might you might not be able to hear them too well. And this is where you want to be here. You should be good. So I don't know if you can hear yourself. Can you? I can hear myself. Yeah. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. No. no okay. All. all right. Well, it's it's hard to get the, the earphones to work here. So, um, but trust me, the audience can hear you. Okay. Good. And we get f instant feedback right here in the chat room. So anyway, I'm sitting here with Sal Butera, everybody. Thanks for, uh, you know, inviting me to come out and do this. Well, I'm glad to have you. Hopefully we can keep this uh, thing going. It's been something that's been uh, kind of a work in progress. The sure. first at bat, we're, we're going to do it every month. Um, gives us all the players a chance to come out, play a good caliber player, uh, get a good workout. Yeah, so this was kind of an idea between, was it your idea, or was it between you and Ross and Melinda? Or? Yeah, we actually talked about it for several months. Um, I keep on saying that all the players don't have an opportunity to play for any kind of serious cash. 
you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. going playing tournaments for quite a while, you know. Be out there for 12, 14 hours and come home with three, four hundred dollars. You know, this way you got a chance to pick up five hundred to a thousand. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good idea. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of worth the investment, you know, especially if it's only once a month, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, you, you get a great opportunity to to really shine amongst a field like this, you know. I think the players are going to pick up too. We, you know, we've talked to. Uh, Santos is going to come on out. Uh, I think uh, probably get uh, Big Wave Dave and some of the other guys out here come up and uh, take a swing at this. Definitely, uh, and and especially since we got all these ten ball events coming up, it's it, this is a really great, you know, like you call it, the yeah. Terra's ten ball workout. Right. This is a great workout. And, uh, and well, we're going to do something for the Railbirds too. We're going to have some uh, opportunities for players to come in and pick up. Uh, pick up their player or have get a horse that's running for them in the tournament and get them to play on the side as well. Oh, great. All right. There you go. Well, there you go. You have it, guys. This is uh, this is going to be sort of a group participation kind of event here at Butera's Billiards, hopefully on a monthly basis. So, you know, um, uh, you can definitely go to the Butera's Billiards website. And uh, or stay in touch with me on Facebook or ho- however you want to do it, you know. And stay tuned for details on. So I've got a question from Brackens about uh, going single. Um, we're talking about doing that, just making a long race, um, and we're gonna have like an A and B flight. So, for example, uh, myself and um, Jose and Oscar. Um, you know, if guys come in, I've got three or four guys that are in here playing right now, which are, you know, shortstop players. And um, what we'll do is potentially just go a long race and just spot. So it would be like a race to 11, single limb, and those players will go to nine. So we still got a chance to get a real strong workout, play great players. And, you know, really, everyone needs to have a chance, but players aren't going to get better if they don't swing for the fence. They're always playing their comfort zone. There's a lot yeah. of rooms and a lot of players that are around that uh, they don't move. You know, they just stay playing the same over and over and over again. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think I think SoCal really needs a tournament like this because, um, you know, I mean, the the hard the first Sunday at Hard Times is a is a great event too, um, but but this is ten ball is a little bit different, and this really gives you like you know a chance to, uh, to you know it's kind of like a goal you know what I mean like uh, for those who are really trying to improve their game and get better and try to make a name for themselves in the, in the you know in the pool world or whatever or at least just you know uh, mark, mark an accomplishment for themselves this is like you know a great thing to look forward to like if you were right. you know to do this every month you know I, I can imagine people actually like dreaming of winning this tournament you know right like man i really want to win the Terra's workout tournament you know i i guess uh you know with, with that happening and moving forward from here you're gonna have to play well to to do that you know it's not going to be a, a a fluke you know you get up and just uh beat these guys you got to be hitting the ball pretty good exactly so i wish you the best of luck with this you know? I appreciate it. And, and you'll I'll, be playing we'll, this too, hopefully. Yeah, once I'll be in a playing while. for sure. This this tournament uh, came up, you know, holiday weekend. I promised my kids that I'd be with them, so um, I got priorities. Even though I want to hit pool balls every day, uh, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I can't uh, can't take back what I tell my kids. So no, that's 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 true. Family has to come first. Well, uh, you know, I'll definitely support you as much as I can in this endeavor, and I wish you the best of luck. And uh, you know, it's it's. I, I'm really happy for the players too that you're you're facilitating a, an event like this because they really need they need to keep working it out too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially the good, even the good ones. You yeah. know. Well, you know, and with the the limited amount of tournaments that are happening now, um, you know, players need to play. That's why Jose's up here. You know, we don't Absolutely. have anything to go to until May. You're gonna sit around for two months. You know, you gotta no. be, you gotta be hit balls. It's good. So it looks like uh, Ernesto and Oscar, did you happen to catch who won the first game here? <laughs> I think, uh, well, Ernesto won the first game. 
I got uh, Don Espinoza, and he's with Pool Tracks, and mm -hmm. he's doing the, the real time stats for all these players. Cool. And I used to love uh, having AccuStats out doing that type of stuff. So I, I welcome, yeah, I welcome yeah. Don's efforts, and hopefully, uh, you know, players get the chance to really see what. Um, what goes on? Not mm -hmm. today. Like I got lucky. This happened. That happened. You get to see if you know he had four position errors, broke and scratched twice on the break, and uh, you know that's why you lost. You know. Yeah. Now you. Uh, I mean, you come from way back too. You know. In fact, I've heard stories about you uh, from other people. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, and uh, so I'm like, I'm really glad to be sitting here with you, you know, and, and, and just kind of like finally coming up to see your place. Because I know that I, the first time I spoke with you was like five or six months ago on the phone. Right. And, uh, you know, I've been trying to think of a reason or uh, not think of a reason, but have a, have a good enough reason and enough time to come up here, really, because I've been so busy. But, well, you know, uh, your efforts are... Um getting noticed all all over i mean a lot of my i got a ton of league players and they're all jumping in and shooting me messages and asking what the next events are going to be and catching up with your site and trying to catch oh yeah really going on, wow so good. wow well I, I appreciate that um now i remember hearing that you used to make a lot of money by 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 telling people i'll play you eight ball as you'll have to tell me if this is a true story i'll play you eight ball and all you got to do is make the eight. You don't get to take balls off. You don't get to, you know, just all you got to do is make the eight ball. You don't have to make any other ball on the table but the eight. It was one of many games. Was that, that one played. of the games you used to play? That's what yeah. I heard about you. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a great shot. Good shot. Wow. Ernesto, actually, he you know, he ran the first rack. Not a problem at all. It was... It was a little bit of a problem rack, and he just took it out and made it look easy. You know, he came in second place at the Chedito. This was a hard-working guy. You know, he, he's always going to be in the mix and mm -hmm. working mm -hmm. hard to get there. It's hard to work full-time and get up and hit pool balls right after, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, especially, you know, yeah, the table business that he, you know, has been running for years. I mean, you know, he's just highly sought after. Everybody, you know, everybody wants him to, wants him to do, do his table, mm -hmm. even at, at their house, you know. Now, who, who's the mechanic here? Is Sean your mechanic here? No, I do... Um been working on tables myself for a lot of years. Um, I haven't had anyone but Diamond at this point work on the tables since mm -hmm. we got them. Okay. But uh, guys still playing real great. All right, so Jose's uh, looking at a tough cut in the bottom right pocket. I don't. I don't think he's or top right pocket, but I don't think he's going to go. Well, he might. He might cut this in. Yeah. Oh, he lets it hang. Uh, I think Ernesto's going to take advantage of this. He's. he's Tough, the toughest shot here. Seven of the eight, though. Yeah. Actually, actually, this shot's the toughest. <laughs> so we got like a eleven-player field. Who who do you like? Actually, we got twelve. Twelve. Twelve okay. for the first week. Um. Uh, you know, Oscar just got out, out of a real tough match with uh, with Ross on the previous mm -hmm. stream that you did, and um, sometimes that opens you up for a, you know feel like you're free sailing the rest of the day. You know, it's probably yeah, that's true. So we'll just have to see how he uh, snaps back here, um, and 
Oh, yeah, well, you, you, you can never count Jose out if he's in the tournament. That's true. So. Yeah, and I don't know who these two other guys are. Uh, what, Jay? Jay Beatty and... Wow, nice shot from Mike, <coughs> Mike Lynn. Yep. I don't know Mike Lynn very well either, but he looks like he's um, hitting, hitting him pretty sporty. Yeah, Renee, who's behind the counter, um, Mike... And some of the other guys that play here pretty regularly, they um, their games jump into leaps and bounds because they're doing stuff like this, always trying to find a way to press themselves and be in action. And yeah. Well, that's why I like to come to these, you know, to these new venues and stuff. Is, is I get to I get to meet new players. You know, I met so many Brian Parks. I met him up at uh, Mountain View. You know. Now Brian was even up front. <coughs> Brian's got a great game. It's a good shot there, and well, you know, Jose gave it back to Ernesto, so I believe it's going to be two to one here, or three to one. I'm I'm not 100 percent on what the score is right now. Any of that, that I, I didn't see what this, who, who, if there was a, if this is the fourth rack or the third rack, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, Nesto's got two for sure. I don't know if uh, Jose's yeah. got one or, or yeah, zero. It's the third rack, and that would make it 2 0. Ernesto's already dominating right now. I mean, he's really kind of taking advantage. Yeah, the, the good thing about 10 ball, too, is that you get situations like this where you get a chance to play a little more defense, play a little more strategy throughout the rack. Yeah. It's harder to tie things up and make things more difficult. With 9 ball, it gives you a lot of easy, easy outs after you play a safe. You know, the ball's easier to get to and get through. Yeah, it's true. And um, it is a totally, it's a different game, you know. How'd, how'd you do last year in the, I know you were at the Hard Times 10 ball last year. How'd you do in that? You came in like 17th through 23rd or something? Yeah, I lost um, on the hill to uh, Kenji, who uh, ended up second in the tournament, I think. Okay. Oh, Kenichi, yeah. 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 And then, uh, and then uh, I lost uh, Hill Hill to Louis Ulrich. Mm. So, um, all right. You know, if we're not playing that much, I'm trying to hit more balls, but get got to get to events. Yeah. Mm. Are you going to play this year? I'll be playing. Yeah, in the next uh, next two months, I'll start to get some more balls. Yeah. April, uh, end of April, May, moving forward, get out to the. U.S. Open 10, 10 ball in Vegas. And oh, you're planning on uh, on playing that one. Sure. How about the uh, Mountain View event? Any Depends plans? if I can get out of here. Yeah. If I can get out of here, I'll, I'll go up north, but it's tough to do. All right, well, Jose's now got a chance to make something out of this. Oh, That's got to be disappointing. But you know what? This is a messy rack. The yeah, 8 and the 9 are tied up. Yeah, and he's got to take a swing at something because yeah. if he doesn't start to make something happen here, like you said, Ernesto's got control of the match and he's going to you know, yeah. bring a, a little bit of lead. This is a missed opportunity here. This is a perfect yeah. time to 
swing three long and try and get into that nine ball full. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It just you know he played it, he played it the way you're supposed to play it, but he just didn't. He he, uh, I think he hit the three too thin. Yeah. He came off the rail and he hit the three a little too thin and he missed the nine and the eight completely. So he's definitely going to lay up here and Jose is probably not going to be happy with the result. Good shot and he, you know what? He got onto the sort of onto the right side of the. Uh, 10 ball there. Mm -hmm. So I see you guys are serving beer. Yeah. And I saw a notice on the on the on the window for a, a full liquor license. You going for a full license we now? Do beer, wine and some uh, oh, probably about 10, 12 different signature drinks. Um, wow, all right. And then do a little more entertainment here on the weekends. During the week, we do a lot of league play. We'll have, uh, when we have tournaments, obviously we'll have a set like this. But um, other than that, I get a lot of, uh, a lot of people get a little restless in the city and need something else to do, so. That's great. All right. Well, Jose is, uh, he's probably hoping that eight, nine will still come come through for him because he's given up ball in hand to Ernesto. This is not an easy rack. I mean, the five ball is just horrible. Yeah, I'm stuck, stuck against the rail. And I don't think it goes past that seven. No, he's going to have to play underneath it, slide up for the six. But again, he's got another chance to get from the six. Yeah. What do you think he was doing there? He was trying to miss the six and get underneath the five this way. Interesting. Come back towards us and then actually use the six to break out the eight nine. Okay. Now he's gonna have to probably try and hide under the eight nine from here. Yeah, yeah. You know. Oh wow. When he tied that up more, I was gonna say that he could have, you know, efficiently broken that out and hooked him. Mm -hmm. Oh well, this is. Well, that's well now it's looking like a combo. Yeah. Hit that with good speed. He might actually hook him. Bacon in the chat room asking if you still do a Sunday special. What was your Sunday special? Yeah, we do um, Saturdays and Sundays. You can come down and play uh, unlimited pool for ten dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So you come on down for from open till six p.m. Play uh, play for ten. Trying to get more players in here practicing, and that gives them an opportunity to come in and. Uh, meet other players who are doing the same thing and then they can match up or just get a good workout that way as well. Right on. Yeah, we were doing... I, I, I was a bartender down at Hollywood Billiards for a couple years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we would do stuff like that, like... Four dollars an hour for for people who want to come in practice till three in the afternoon. You know, open at ten a.m. Someone uh, bacon saying you should get a ten footer in here. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I'd love to. I'd love to knock the wall down and uh, put another six eight tables. <laughs> yeah. And uh, ten footers always been practiced. You know, a couple other games that you can put together. You know, playing. That's on true. Table. That's true. I'm sure Sean Lane would love to sell you one of his uh, twelve foot <laughs> snooker tables too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jose has hit that pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. He. He. Uh, he put on his surgical gloves there, but uh, he's going to let the cue ball... Oh, he's going to play safe here. He's going to be okay. 
Oh no. I could have sworn he was just playing safe. Hard to see when you're sitting level like this yeah. on the table. That's <laughs> funny about Jose is like, you know, when he gets two inches out of line, he's always really upset. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Uh. You like so may have to play safe here. I don't know if uh, that ball's frozen. It's hard to see the, the depth of the angle, but it looks like he's uh, kind of straight. Yeah, he's definitely. Uh, mm. See, no, I'm a typical shortstop. I'd have, I'd have played the kick. <laughs> you know, I'd have been like, oh, it's frozen on the rail. I'll just play rail first and kick it in. Do you go for this? Well, Jose does. Uh-oh. Mm. That was a definite missed opportunity there. Yeah. Yeah, what, what would you have done? Would you play that back? Not, not much of a safety opportunity there, is you it? Know, I may have because it's good to have a good first shot at the cash, you know. Um, That's true. Well, Ernesto has now uh, created a three-game lead here. It's three to zero in a race to seven. In case you're just joining us, we're at Butera's Billiards watching the Butera 10-ball workout. I'm sitting here with actually with Sal Butera, and um, we're gonna. He's gonna hopefully do this uh, event at least once a month. Uh, please stay tuned. Stay tuned to my channel or find out, from, you know, Sal Butera's website, butera'sbilliards.com, right? Mm -hmm. We'll be putting some up there and uh, also get a flyer sent out. That's so right. Facebook, AZ, all that stuff. Check all the forums and all yep. that. And uh, be sure to keep you guys posted on what's happening up in the future here. Someone in the chat room asking for uh, <laughs> for five bucks that you owe them. <laughs> I got everybody's five dollars. Just gotta play for it. <laughs> exactly. There you go. How do you like those balance bracelets? I actually like them. Yeah. Uh, I picked them up a few months back, and I gotta get another one. I used one for uh, <laughs> I used one for about three months, but it fell apart on me. You know. Huh? What happened here? Is this loser rack? Yeah, Jose just made a early early ten ball. Played oh. a camera combination. Oh my goodness! Well, lucky for him. Makes it a little easier to catch up. Boy, I tell you, man, I haven't been able to get back in the rhythm of things because I, I just spent 11 days in Hawaii and uh, I'm, I'm still like so spaced out, dude. I got back three days ago and I'm like still like, hey, man, what's going on? Well, it'll do it to you. <laughs> I'm just so like out of it. Oh, now uh, Ernesto's looking at a 110 combo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the thing. You got a pretty ugly rack here. Yeah, I mean, he plays a good little tight pattern here from the mm -hmm. one, two, three. If you can get underneath the four, then from the five to the six, opens things up. And seven, eight, nine, ten is pretty good. Mm -hmm. You start off a little bit out of line, and uh, 
it's hard to get back. Sure. Right here, I would have stopped the cue ball on that one ball, shot the two ball up in the corner towards us. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's what I would have probably done the same thing, too. You got to get that phone? Go ahead, Sal. Sal's uh, phone is ringing here. So he's just going to go get that. Ernesto now. Measuring everything up, make sure he's he can play this rack. It's a tight it's a tight game, this this one particular rack. I don't think I don't think one ball landed above the side pocket there. Ernesto has been playing very well this season, actually. I mean, you know, he came in second place with the Chet Ito, um, getting through a lot of, like, heavy hitters like Rodney Morris, Jason Williams, Amar Kang, and uh, finally losing in second place to Louis Ulrich in the 3,000 added Chet Ito Memorial Tournament. So Ernesto is uh, so far showing to make a, uh, a you know create a pretty good record for himself this this year. And there we have it. Right now it's going to be four to one against Jose Perica. And if you didn't know Jose, you would think he's not even a good player right now. But uh, <laughs> do not over underestimate the power of Jose Perica. Definitely a force to be reckoned with. Perica really has to he's really got to do something here he's got to you know start trying to see the game in his favor no matter what and make make lemons out of make lemonade out of lemons here cuz you don't want to be giving any chances to Ernesto right now he's playing real strong shot jacked up on the eight and he's got to come all the way up for the two ball which is over by the nine he rattles it leaves it safe behind the ten
Jose, uh, you know what? He's looking almost uninterested right now. But I know he wants to play today, and I know he's just kind of hoping for this match to kind of turn around on him so he can catch a gear. But right now, Ernesto is pulling all the strings. We got a safety battle going on here. Perica basically just creating a, a, an impossible cluster for Ernesto, forcing Ernesto to play safe. And that's what he does. Perica hitting the nine first instead of the one. And this one is still not makeable. I believe we do have a three foul rule in effect. And Perica is on two. Ernesto just looking at me and asking, is there a three foul rule? There we go. Well, if that wasn't <laughs> a very creative shot, I don't know what was. That was a great execution there. Perica has to hit this ball. That was just a beautiful safety. No. No, that's going to make it four. I mean, three, uh, three fouls. And Parika is not in his... He's not. He's not in a good mode right now. I, I guess. It's gonna make it five to one. Ernesto jumping far ahead of Jose here. See if Jose can claim his turf here. Definitely not happy with the leave he's gotten here. He played a carom off the one ball, off the two ball there.
rail. No rail. Jose gives up ball in hand. Ernesto playing rail first there. Almost two stroke in that shot. Watch your speed. Okay. A hook now on the five ball behind the ten. So looks like Ernesto is gonna be jumping. And if it's anything like that last jump shot he played, then he should be good. Great shot. Ernesto's playing real strong right now. Actually, I'm, I'm liking him. In, I'm liking him in this tournament. Although I have, to, ooh, I was gonna say I have to, uh, you know, mention though that Jose hasn't really been giving him much of a match. cut. Uh-oh. No, he's going to be okay. <clears throat> Got pretty close to the 10 there. <laughs> he's kind of smiling. He's like, is this the kind of a day that I'm going to have? <laughs> funny, but I think he's going to be okay. He's got to back cut this 10 on the side. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, Jose. What's going on, buddy? Ernesto on the hill, and this is turning out to be a real quick race.